Hi folks, Dr. Ed Byer. This week we're talking about fibromyalgia and chronic pain syndromes. Now, you need to understand that fibromyalgia is a syndrome. It's a complex entity. It's not just about pain. There's also many, many other symptoms and many underlying causes and physiological breakdown that's causing the symptoms that you're getting. And it's different from person to person. So that's important to understand. Now we're gonna talk about one of these today and that's called a serotonin deficiency. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter, a chemical in our brain that's really important for mood maintenance, pain alleviation, and appetite control. And that's why depression, brain fog, and weight gain are, and pain are very you know, common symptoms with fibromyalgia. A lot of studies show that people with fibromyalgia have serotonin deficiency. And one of the reasons is, is because Many people have what's known as dysbiosis. People with fibromyalgia has dysbiosis. This is where you have a disproportionate amount of bacteria in the gastrointestinal system in your gut, where the bad guys are outweighing the good guys. And one of these um, type of certain bad bacteria will produce an enzyme called tryptophanase, and this enzyme will degrade an amino acid called L-tryptophan. Well, this is the amino acid we need to make serotonin. So we get this dysbiosis type situation where the bad bacteria are producing an enzyme that's breaking down L-tryptophan so you do not produce enough serotonin and your ability to modulate your moods, to alleviate pain, and to have appetite suppression are gone. And so we have to, how do we know if you have this? Well, proper testing. And this is stuff that your doctor never looks at. So if you're suffering from fibromyalgia, this could be one of the reasons, a leading cause that I see clinically. I'm Dr. Ed Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.